In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you a couple of ways in which you can change the shape of a picture in picture where you've taken a video and overlaid it over another video in PowerDirector. What I have here is a base video. It's my track number one. It's the Golden Gate Bridge. And let's assume there's another video I want to insert over it. Let's look at how we normally do that and then some ways to change it. Before that, we're going to show you an example of a somewhat finished product. And so I have the first video, and what I'd like to do here is make a change to how I insert this. I'm going to take a helicopter drag that and put it on track number two. It will overlay track one and then I'll resize it normally. We just change it from a large rectangle to a slightly smaller rectangle. And what normally would happen is we would just play it this way with a rectangle inside another one and it would look something like this. That's fine, but that's probably not the only way to do that. Let's look at another variation. In order to change that, what I'm going to do is highlight the second video of the helicopter and then click on the Tools button above the timeline. Then click on the option that says Mask Designer. Now we're going to apply a mask to this. There are several simple ways you can do it. We could, for example, make it a rounded rectangle by clicking on the third option on the left from the top. And then I want to change it from a squarish shape to more of a rectangular shape, filling the area where we have our video. And then when we play this segment, we're going to see that basically we have that rounded rectangle slightly different, a little less common. So that's one simple way to change it. Let's try a couple of others. We could, for example, click on the circle and change the circle to an ellipse where we try to fill most of the area where we have the original video and not cut off too much. And if we play this one, we're going to see the helicopter flying in an ellipse, picture in picture. So that's one way to do that. And you could select from any of the options that you have here. We have some like a cloud. Let's take this one and play that one. And so it's flying in the clouds in the shape of a cloud. And again, I would probably edit this because we have some square areas here, but uh, those are some of the default ones. Let's look at another option you have. You can actually make your own. We're going to drag all the way down and click on the rightmost button, which is a custom selection mask. I'll click on that one. And then we'll take our mouse and we'll click on the points around within the, the original rectangle where we would like our mask to show. I have to guess where the helicopter is going to show here. And let's try something like this. And that's our mask. And let's feather it just a little bit. Turn my feather controls on on the left side. And we'll play that and see what that looks like. All right, I think I want a little less feathering on that. That looks a little better, and there we go. So that's another way you can do that. So if you want a little bit of variation in how you handle your picture in picture or video on top of video, these are some of the options that you have when you're using masking on your second video in CyberLink PowerDirector.